This is Marcy Panner for Studio Calico, and today I am super pumped to um, be making a video using the new um, Hello Forever um, and Studio Calico planners. Um, so I found this sample version um, in my mailbox the other day, and I was really, really excited. Um, so this is the gray, I think it's called sky or something, gray sky or something like that. Anyway, um, I don't have it set up yet, but what I wanted to do was just um, go through um, using this coming week um, in a spread um, and just the amount of decorating I do and using the stickers that come with it mixed up with some of the things in the planner kits and so on. So um, this isn't going to be a tour of the planner um, so much, but um, the pages come undated um, like this. So I've gone ahead and I've dated this spread. So I'm going to take that out. And what I normally start doing first is I start putting in um, the dates and the things that I know for sure. Um, if it is something that is um, maybe important or I want to stand out a little bit, then I will um, use a sticker or a stamp or something like that. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start marking things down. So Friday is our date night, so I'm just going to mark that with a sticker. And let's see, I want to denote when the weekend starts. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a skinny strip of tape. Now I don't know if these are terrible. I haven't tried yet, so we'll see. Yep. And I'm just going to tear the finished end just so that my ends are both the same. And I'm just going to mark that here like this. So I know if I get through these days, I'm good to go. <laughs> okay, so now other things that I had was um, I have a bill do on Monday. So I'm going to see. I pulled out some things. So I'm going to see what I have for marking out bills. Okay, so this is a um, a budgeting and a spending stamp set from a month or two ago. And I'm just going to see it's a phone belt, so I think I'm going to combine it with this phone stamp and then the word um, bill. I think we'll do that this time. Luckily for me, I have ample opportunities to record bills in my planner. So. <laughs> okay, I'm going to see if this can uh, fit on a small... I'm going to see if I can fit it on this circle, if Bill will fit there, or pay phone. That'll work. Okay, so for this I'm going to use my stay on, Stays On ink. It's a little bit of a slipperier material, and I don't want to chance um, screwing that up. Okay, so I'm going to do pay first. Well, let's do blue. And then I'm going to do the phone. Okay. Which is quite crooked, but I think I'll use it anyway. can take it off without smudging anything. Okay, so that's for Monday. And let's see what else. Um, I have some assignments due throughout the week, so I'm going to note those as well. So I'm going to use these little, actually I'm going to use this new set. Of colored flags. I think those would work well. I'm going to use this one. Okay. 
and I have another due date the next day. By doing the things I know for sure in stickers and things like that, it kind of, um, it allows them to pop out and I notice them more, if that makes any sense. Um, so these things, obviously, that I knew, like, say, last week in advance or so, they're going to pop out. Um, and that is exactly what I want them to do because they are important things. And then just little things throughout the week, um, I just write directly on my planner usually. So I'm not decorating, like, throughout the whole entire week. It's just, like, for maybe 10 minutes or something, and then I'm good. Um, let's see. Whoops. Okay, so a couple more things. Um, my kids have a noon dismissal on Friday, so I need to remember that. Um, and then we have um, a dentist appointment, so I'm gonna find, I'm sure I have a tooth somewhere so we'll take a tooth and I'll see if I have a small small circle shape I can put it in maybe well, let's go back to here okay That did not work out at all. Okay, so we're gonna try to restamp that, see if I can be at all successful doing so. There we go. Okay, so I'll mark that down. And I'll just, I think it's at nine o'clock. Okay, so these are my major things that I know ahead of time. And now I'm just going to start um, writing in some other things. We're working through some old movies. So we'll write those down. And I'm going to take from this newer set, actually, I was going to use this top three stamp and then write down the top three things of um, the week, but I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use this notes section for meal planning. So the nice thing about having it just labeled notes is you can make it be whatever you want. Um, if you want to use it for weekly goals that don't fit on a specific day or anything like that, or if you want to use it for meal planning, um, you can. I'm just going to take a quick peek and see if I have anything out that is maybe a fork or a spoon or something. And if not, then I'll just write it down. Okay, I don't see anything, so... Okay, well then let's just write it down. Okay, I think these stickers are a little bit not dry. Probably should have used a different pen on those. So I'm just gonna cover those up so I don't smear them when I write here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this space to write down meals for the week. So let's go 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sometimes I have a post-it um, where I write it on and then I reuse that in future weeks and stuff. So Wednesday, we always do grilled cheese because we have a busy evening. Friday is our date night. And Saturday, we have a pizza night with the kids. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill these in. And let's see, let's do some lasagna. Okay. Okay, so as the week goes, um, this fills in um, a little bit, um, but mostly this is just how it stays for the beginning. It's not too full. Um, but I'm going to take some time um, and fill some more things in, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled um, a few more things in, um, just some random to-dos. Um, added um, a stamp for my installing dishwasher and a sticker for picking up groceries, but a lot of it is just little random things that just um, kind of get noted in, and I still have a bit of room um, to add as my week goes on. Um, today, the day that I'm making the video, is um, this would be my coming week. So as this week actually goes on, um, it gets um, fuller. Um, one thing about this planner, what I'm considering doing and why this size was um, decided on um, um, by everyone, I guess, was that you can utilize the 6x8 page protectors in this size. Um, so it's the same size as a Project Life album. Um, so what I may do is as the week goes on, um, I may stick that in there, um, a four slotted page protector, and add in like some photos and journaling from the week and kind of combine um, the planner with um, kind of a form of project life. Um, and another thing which I wanted to share but I didn't have any available at the moment was um, I also like to keep um, a little stacks of post-its on this middle divider. Um, I mean this one's used obviously um, but they stick nicely and so they'd be um, able to be used throughout the week, just some blank um, little post-it strips on the little ruler there. But this is basically um, what um, I'll be using my planner for. And um, yeah, I hope it gave you some ideas on how to approach this planner. We left it without lines for um, the main reason that if you wanna add photos and use it more as a memory keeper, there isn't anything that will detract from your photos. There's no lines that you, your photo will be sitting on or anything. So um, yeah, so that is just basically um, a little peek at the planner in action. Um, and I hope you enjoy them and um, like them as much as I do. Thanks for watching.